Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and this is me inking and coloring some of the dragon trio hatching from eggs which should have been up on Saturday but I sub sub I can't talk sub laxed my shoulder and it hurt like a nah, yeah it hurt I'll say and I just today just kind of popped it back in just by chance but you know so that's why this wasn't posted on Saturday and why it's not finished I wanted to get it finished but my shoulder kind of stopped that unfortunately but this is me inking it in Clip Studio is it Clip Studio yeah it's Clip Studio I'm using right with a G pen is that what it is I think it's a G pen I should know that it's open let's check it is I don't know my brush is gone but I think it's a G pen it doesn't matter back to the video <laughs> so yeah so three dragons now I don't know why I spent the time inking this but I end up not e using the ink version in the end so I don't I could have edited this out but we'll just show it anyway <laughs> because you know hey it works and now I'm just trying to get the curve of the neck properly it doesn't matter behind the wings because I'm gonna erase that anyway because you know the wings are cover up some of the body and then I'm just breaking cleaning up some of the, my shaky lines which you know hey Digitally you can do that, not so much with pen and ink, but unless it's the style that you're going for, then it can be as shaky as you want. <laughs> but, you know, if you're doing line art and stuff, it can be quite shaky, which you'll see on the video on Monday, because I have the drawing done that I was going to do for the markers. And, yeah. Anyway, back again to the dragons. <laughs> Just making the wings, inking the wings, and, like I said, you can race behind the wings, because the wings cover up some of the body, so you really don't need that line, so I get rid of it. And the wings, the wings I leave quite simple, even when I color them, because I'm just, I, normally I would, like, make, like, claw hand and the fingers and stuff, like, in, like, a bat wing kind of thing. But I think I'm just being lazy. Or no, actually, it's just, just trying something different is what I was doing. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what, ugh, that, I can't speak. <laughs> that's my excuse. I'm trying something different, which is why it looks the way it does, you know? But I'm still practicing with digital art. I'm not at the stage where I'm like, hey, yeah, this is, you know, something. I mean, I like doing it, but I'm not at the stage where, hey, this is great. You know, this looks really good. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> Getting there. It takes time, you know. Like, I've been drawing with pencil since I was, like, four. So that's, you know, that's not a problem. But digital wasn't really a thing when I was a kid, you know. It wasn't until, I don't know. I can't remember, what, 80, like 90, something like that. But yeah, so, you can see I'm shading one of the eggs, and I, this is the flat colors, which I didn't film because I forgot, partly. And I'm just shading the eggs, just pick colors that are similar to the base of the eggs, and just add shading, because the light's coming from the top right, if you're looking at the screen. But, so I kind of know where that is. I don't know why I made a color thing, because in the end, I don't have, I don't use it. The little color swatches. Normally I do, but in the end of the, like when I work more on this, I just randomly pick colors that are close to the base colors. <laughs> not exactly. It kind of adds a bit of difference to it too. Not everything's the same color in the end, which works. But yeah, so I'm just adding a bunch of shading because, like I said, light from top top right. What did I say? Top left there for a second. I was top right. And just so, so because this is a curved kind of object, it would have a curved kind of look. So the shading would be curved. But underneath the claws, of course, it would be darker because the light's not hitting them. So try to make it look like the claws are either gripping it or hanging over the egg, which is kind of what they're doing anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I have nothing to talk about because, like I said, I really haven't been doing well. I've been working on this kind of, but trying to at least add a bit of texture to it. And I do plan on adding a bit of texture over the whole thing once I'm done, like taking probably like a canvas type texture or just a, just a add it so it doesn't look so digital, I will say. Because <laughs> sometimes digital work can look a little flat, even though you've had shading and stuff like that. It just looks a little flat. But see, I, get, I add a bit of dark. I use black. Yeah, I use black. It's eh, kind of a weakness, but hey, it works. You know, it's uh, like I said, don't always use black because it doesn't always work if you're using black. And this egg looks a little flat because there's no highlight on the top or the right. Let's see, add the highlight, <laughs> put that there, and add it. Make sure that it's really quite. I'm using white because it makes more sense, it adds a bit like more light. And then just blend it out. It still looks a bit flat in the middle, which I can work on and fix later on now that I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, I need to fix that. It's a tad flat, but that's okay. 
and now I'm decoloring the red dragon. I'm not like showing how I color each dragon because that would be freaking boring. But yeah, so I'm coloring the red dragon. Pick a different red because red, I'm not a fan of red. I don't mind the color, but it's not my choice, we'll say. But it's like an angry color, which works for dragons because dragons can be angry. You know, so that works for that. And then you just add a bit more shading. Now, the cutout thing here isn't exactly perfect. I have to go back and fix it. Not fix it, but just kind of blend things a little bit better. And you can see I've, at this point I have took, taken to, to turn the liner off and I'm just turning it on here so I remember roughly where his mouth is and his nostril and stuff like that because I just want a rough idea. I mean, I could have put it in with myself without looking at the line art, but I, I like the way the line art looked there, so that's why I turned the line art on. But now it turns back off because I don't need it. For some reason, I mean, I liked the line art, but then I liked the flax by themselves, and I thought, we'll just shade them because that works and get rid of the line art and see what that looks like. And it looks okay. It's very kind of painterly, but that, that's perfectly alright. I mean, I could have used painter, but for some reason I didn't. I had this, I haven't actually painted like a lot without lines in Clip Studio, so once again, another experiment. It's all about experimenting things and figuring out what works best for you. But yeah, just see, black, back to the black, you know, because it works for making it darker. And the way this brush works here, the paintbrush here, which I keep forgetting to leave a link or put in a card above. If I remember, I'll do that if I can find it again. <laughs> the link for it. So if you use this, you can use it too. Or at least figure it, look at, have a look at it and see if. It works for you because not every brush is going to work for every person. It really isn't. And I'm picking up a bit of the white in the background, but that's fine. I can fix that. <laughs> what should I do? Add a bit dark. Now, this red dragon hands are being quite dark because I used a lot of black, but that's okay. I don't mind it. It works for the dragon because he kind of looks a little bit behind, which is what he should because he's sort of slightly behind the green dragon. Very slightly. No, I don't know what happened there. I really don't. I'm just hand twitch or something on the screen, who knows. <laughs> but add a bit of definition to behind his jaw because well, it doesn't have to be a cutoff, but in this case there is kind of like a cutoff. And then add a bit more definition with black to, to his face and his, I keep going back to the jaw because it's not quite dark enough. Some of the darks aren't quite as dark as I would like, but I can fix that thankfully. Or I can d duplicate the layer and use like multiplier screen or whatever I can think of. Just go through the list and see what looks best. But yeah, so that's me adding, I should have given him some teeth. I didn't give him any teeth. None of them have any teeth, but that's okay. Maybe the baby dragons don't need teeth. Well, you need a tooth to get out of the egg because you know, the egg tooth on the snout, but they've got snouts, like pointy snouts. So that would work for that. You know, can you just stab somebody with the pointy snouts or stab the egg with a pointy snout, I guess. You know, if, if these were snakes, like say like bull snakes or whatever, that would freaking hurt. Cause you know, tiny bull snakes can be quite, angry when they're born, we'll say, but, I mean, I've never had a bull snake, but looking up and doing a lot of stuff, they can be kind of angry. Little aggro, but that's okay. I mean, I had a snake, but, like a ball python and a red tail boa, but, like a baby red tail, not a big one, but, I like snakes, but anyway, <laughs> maybe that's why I like dragons, maybe, or reptiles, because it's kind of like, <laughs> dragons of the d today or whatever maybe that's what it is <laughs> very well could be what it is yeah maybe i figured it out that's why i like dragons so much because i i like lizards and reptiles and not that i'd have like a crocodile or an alligator but you know that's a bit too much but i'm fine with like you know just reptiles and snakes and stuff like that but so for the wing i do something like i said different i don't put little like i don't start off at least with hands like the bones for the hands why am i moving my hand because you can't see me but that's okay <laughs> and then just add purples and stuff like that so it looks like the you know, membrane kind of effect it kind of works it kind of doesn't i'm not 100 percent happy with it but hey trial and error you know everything is trial and error even with digital because sometimes you don't know what the hell you're doing besides just messing around in the advantage of digital control z or you can just delete you know delete something if you don't like it which is great you know <laughs> very handy you know that's why digital is like nah, let's just stick to digital no i do traditional too but or whatever this is art but i'm rambling but that's okay i think it's because i'm tired but anyway and uh so just add it see you kind of tell here because the dark when why am i pointing at the screen you can't see me <laughs> the dark kind of separates between the uh, the uh 
uh, ah, the, the white and stuff like that. But anyway, so this is where it is at the moment. Haven't finished the purple dragon yet. Want to do. Hopefully get it up tomorrow. That's my idea at least. <laughs> Crossing my fingers here. But yeah, so thank you for watching me. And I was going to say, I'm not doing smogus anymore. Doing dragons. But I can't do smogus every day. I thought I could, but I can't. You know, and I mean, when it comes to Inktober, that's hard enough as it is. But I'll do dragons for the month, but it won't be every day. Just go back to Wednesdays and Saturdays because, well, that's all I really can do. Except for tomorrow because I will try to get that purple dragon finished for tomorrow. But yeah, so once again, thank you for watching. And please come back and see my purple dragon, which should be finished tomorrow. And which should...